Let's say that a task needs to be scheduled and displayed on the Gantt chart. First, you must assign the task with a schedule. You can do this by right-clicking the mouse and selecting Schedule. Default schedule type is set to All Day. You can also set it as an appointment or memo. We'll cover more on this in our next video. Set the start and end date for the task. When done, click OK to complete and you will see the clock appear in the topic. To edit schedule, click the clock icon and change the schedule settings. To open schedule in the Gantt chart, go to the Tool tab and click Open Window. To close the Gantt chart, click Close Window or right-click anywhere in the Gantt chart and select Close. From the Gantt chart, you can move the bar to the left or right or drag it to expand the bar. Right-click anywhere on the Gantt chart to access Gantt chart menus. Select the Summary pane and it will display start and end dates, number of days with seven days a week set as default, completion percentage, cost, and note which is content from the topic's note. You can also choose to display which items to show in the summary pane from the display menu. Selecting resources pane will display resource items in the Gantt chart. Hover the cursor over the schedule bar and activate menus from set details, which opens the schedule edit window. Split task will split the taskbar, delete task, and resources where you can assign resources. Clicking on the Gantt chart will also activate schedule ribbon menu. Note that the parent topic schedule bar, in this case schedule, will cover earliest start date of the task and latest end date of the task.